Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can merge columns in Power Query and avoid null or blank values. So here I've got a list or a couple columns of car models, and some of them have blank values in them. And what we want to do is we want to combine those columns into a single comma-separated list of car models. So let's see how we can do this in Power Query. So let's go up to the data tab and from sheet and get that data into the Power Query editor. And the first thing we're gonna do is just select the first column here, hold shift and select the last one. And if we go up to the transform tab, there's an option here to merge columns. Let's use that and see what happens. So we can select a separator and there's an option for a comma and we can rename our resulting column Let's just keep that name merged. And we transform those five columns into one column called merge. And it has a comma separated list of values. And now you can see what happens is that we get extra commas because we had uh, values that were null or blank. So how can we fix that? Well, we're just going to delete that step first and we're gonna select our columns again. And this time we're gonna go up to the add column tab in the ribbon. And there's also a merge columns option there. Let's use that. And we get the same interface here where we can select comma and name our column and press okay. And so this time it just adds a column. And you can see that we've actually got less extra commas here this time. And that's because the function that it's using, so text.combine, ignores null values. So for example, here we've got two null values and a blank value. And we've only got one extra comma in the resulting merged values. And that's from the blank value. So here you can see that we've only got null values. And this is the result that we want. So how can we take care of those blank values? So we could do something before we merge the columns. So let's just go back a step. And what we could do is select our columns and we can right click and replace values and just replace those blank values. So we're gonna find our blank values. Let's just leave that blank and we're gonna replace them with null. Let's press OK. And now you can see that we got a null value there instead of a blank. And if we head back to our last step here when we merge, then that takes care of those extra commas. Now, another option, let's just delete that replace value step, is to just edit this formula where we merge columns. So let's come up to our formula bar here and we're gonna use uh, an extra function in here called list.select to take care of those blank values. So list.select and an opening parentheses for that. Now list.select takes a list of values and then also a selection criteria as a function. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So first off, we already have our list. So we have a list of columns here that we're gonna select from. And our second argument is our selection. Let's just add that in. And what we're gonna do here is for each item, we are going to select it if it's not equal to a blank value. So this underscore is a variable placeholder that's used in Power Query. And then we're seeing if that's not equal to a blank value and the blank uh, is represented by just an empty text string. So let's try that out and see what happens. And so that works and we avoid those extra commas. So using list.select, just allows us to select only the non-blank items. And because text.combine takes care of null values, then we just get a list of just the values. Now we can go to the Home tab 
and close and load this into Excel. So let's load it into a table and we're gonna add it right here in our existing worksheet. And if you don't want these columns here, we can actually edit that. Let's just right click and edit our query again. And we can just select those, right click and remove them and save that. And here we just have our merged column now. Now there is actually an easier way to do this in Excel if you wanna avoid Power Query and which one you choose is gonna depend where your data is coming from and what other kind of transformations you need to do. But you can use the text join function to do this pretty easily. So let's try that out. Text join, first argument is a comma for our delimiter. And then the next argument, uh, we can either ignore or include empty cells and we wanna ignore them. And the last argument is just the values that you wanna to merge together. So we can select our car model column and press enter and we should get the exact same result here. So let's copy that down. And we do in fact have the exact same comma separated lists that avoid our blank and null values. So that's how you can merge columns in Power Query and avoid blank or null values. And also a little bonus tip about the text join function in Excel to do the exact same thing. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.